another thing that companies like to do is work you to death. Originally when I started with this employer, weekends was optional. Well, times changed when the cold went down, they they now sneak in the weekends. So now I work six days a week. You know, and uh, one day off, just like any other truck company. And you know, dispatchers, you know, they they push you and push you try to get all this extra work done and eat up all your hours so you're never home. Then sometimes I I got a hold of poop all goddamn day. Just so I could make because uh, we got times. Uh, if you don't make your, your your times correctly, it just ruins the next day. You know? And see now you got a hold of poop all day. And say something doesn't go right uh, or say you start to get a little uh, relaxed and you show up places a little later because you know the times that works for you but not the company and they'll berate you and then you, you sit there on the phone with them and you know you gotta start showing up these places there blah 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 it almost makes you implies that you're lazy and don't want to work meanwhile in the back of the head when, when he's, they're running in their mouth like a little chihuahua, you're like, I just held a poop for like six hours the day before, and it's, you're, you're, you're acting like I don't work, you know, uh, and so let's get on top of everything else, so, uh, let's talk about showers, now, I've only had one shower this week, today's Friday, because I went home yesterday, I have no time to stop anywhere to get a shower in the middle of my day, and you're gonna find that different results. I mean, well, except for long haul drivers. Long haul drivers, when you first start driving uh, cross country, you'll have time to do all that. But when you get into regional and these small carriers, yeah, you ain't gonna have time to shower. This was plenty of times where I gotta hang my head out the window with fucking shampoo and uh, wash my hair out my window. So. Yeah, be prepared for that. Uh, 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 <sighs> the job is just exhausting. So people, you know, in and, and these schools and all that, so, oh yeah, you're going to see the country. Yeah, you're not seeing the country. You're seeing the country through a window. I've been over this country and, uh, all in passing. <clears throat> and time of two, most of the truck drivers are divorced because either their wives didn't like the job or, or whatever. Hell, I haven't seen my wife uh, probably last uh, Saturday, maybe. I see her in passing, or I see her when I wake up for the, you know, my next shift. I get up and go to work. That's it. So, uh, Oh, when you start start driving, uh, be prepared not to be home because uh, you're gonna go cross country to earn your your rights to be local. So you're not gonna be home, and a lot of people don't make it. So you're gonna incur a five grand bill to go to a school and get a license to drive one of these, and you're gonna have to camp out. You know, they give you what every every two two weeks you get a day, or no, I'm sorry. Every week you get a day off. So, two weeks you get two days. So, um, yeah. So, I've been, you know, local for a while. Kind of local. Not, well, not more reasonable, I guess. And uh, this was like a year ago. The previous employer, I was cross country. So, sometimes you gotta remind these people that, you know, you need business. So, every now and then, put an application in somewhere because I'm gonna send driver information requests and that's gonna give them a moment of pause. So I applied at a former employer that was uh, I was kind of cross country but I was also a spotter for him for two or three years. And recruiter never called me, never talked to me, never emailed me, the company never contacted me. Uh, I was up somewhere and uh, I get a voicemail 
from the company saying, congratulations, we got your old job back, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of perked my interest because my last job with them was a spotting job. Well, they lost the contract, and I know they weren't in there. So I find out hard to believe. So I called her up, and I was like, well, I find it hard to believe because you guys lost the contract there. How's, how's this possible? She's like, no, no, we talked on the phone, and you're going across country. You know, did, you know, over the road, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, you never talked to me. You never called me. It's like, well, I got notes right here. I'm like, eh, you're bullshitting me. He used to say, uh, so I said, well, your website said uh, home weekends. And she told me to spew about one week for one day. I'm like, bye. So, uh, yeah, this video is a little disorganized, so. I don't have a script, I just free speech it, so I think that's probably going to be it all. Probably should have put that in the last video. Well, have fun.